Hey, how's it going, you beans? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. We're back in Ark, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tame an RG for today's How to Tame episode. Let's get into it. Now, RGs are the most important dino in the majority of Ark. I'm not going to lie to you, it is used probably the most. So, what we're going to be doing is using a trap like this. Now, this one might be a little far out, so we're just going to get rid of that one real quick. So ideally, you'll find RGs mainly on mountain sides. Uh, ideally, you shouldn't be doing this on the mountain, like what I'm doing right now, because uh, it's bad for you. It's hard to build like this, so normally you wouldn't be doing it on here, because this is the stupid. But I'm going to be doing it on here just to be showing you that you could do this super difficulty if you really wanted to. Once you spotted your RG, I tend to put a bullet in my long neck. If you've got two long necks, which most people normally do, then that is fine. And then we find ourselves a nice little RG at the distant. So, uh, let's see. I think that's probably the best bet. I don't know what level it is, but we're going to go for it. We're going to shoot it and pee it off. Or we're going to miss because we're so good at shooting. Let's try again. Hey! Okay, guys. If you find this video useful, make sure you like them. Subscribe to become a human being. And uh, this guy's going to come at us now. So, what we're going to do is going to let it line up with this trap. And we're going to put on the hot bar the dinosaur gate. So, it's quick access. Now, that was a super low level. We nearly killed it. <laughs> um, yeah. I probably... Shouldn't have shot this guy. But as you can see, he's super slow. He's going to be coming up onto us. We're going to go towards the back. Once it's lined up, make sure he's lined up. You can tell. You can take a few hits from an RG. And then we do this. It comes in. We do that. We step out. <laughs> and look. We got stuck RG. How easy was that? And there the RG is trapped. And I find using gates the most effective way to trap an RG. Now let's knock this guy out. Which we're going to have to switch back to the other bullets for that. Let's knock it out. And then I'll be showing you... The best utilities for this dino. And why you should tame it. Because you should tame it. Okay, so now the RG is knocked out. Let's go through the food group. So this was only a level 2. Oh boy. <laughs> How could this be, guys be so bad? Okay, so basically these guys like superior kibble. For their first and most favoritist type of food. That will get you a perfect tame. And it's raw mutton, raw meat, raw, uh, cooked lamb chops, cooked prime, fish meat... Raw meat, cooked meat, raw fish meat, and cooked prime fish meat, and cooked fish meat. I would recommend go try and tame these guys with the superior kibble, the raw mutton, or the raw prime meat. That would be your best shot, in my opinion. So we're going to give this guy one of these. I'm just going to like, tame real quick, but I'm also going to spawn one in, because that is poop. Okay, so trapping and taming this guy is super easy, but once you get him, they are the best. And uh, let me just tell you now, this is probably going to be one of your most used dinos, especially if you're playing the more vanilla maps like the island. Uh, these guys are great for multiple things. First of all, they can take on pretty much the majority of dinos. You can take on Rexes and stuff with this guy. If you, Especially if you've imprinted one, if you're bred and imprinted, or even stacked mutations, these guys are so strong. Let me just take a hit on this guy for you right now. This is a max level, that's a 1-2-2. Two, two. And then once you've imprinted it, obviously the damage will be a lot more. They also have the ability to pick the majority of creatures up. On Dodo Dex, it will tell you what sort of creatures these guys can pick up. But they can pick up a majority of creatures. So they're strong. They have a ton of weight. Have a look at the weight on this guy. 700 weight. That's great. The stamina is really decent. Their health is really decent. And their damage is really decent. For example, this, this guy wants to eat us. But we'll just go BAM! You can take on Rexes and stuff like that. These guys are great. You can also pick creatures up like I was saying. You might notice as well, when attacking stuff and you've killed stuff and you eat the bodies, you get a little health buff. Which will allow you to heal up. So for example, here's a saber. Let's pick this saber up. So you can pick creatures up. And they can hit you occasionally, but it's not very often. And what you can do is you can carry these over long distances and then just like, you know, drop them into your trap if you want to tame them. Or you can kill them in the air, which I should have probably showed you, but we're about to run out of stam. So I'm going to come back down here. When you attack things and kill them and you bite them up, you'll be like, bah! Hang on, we might be able to get one of these raptors that's coming up over here. Okay, so we killed the raptors. I'm going to eat its body, and as you can see, we've got this health buff going around us, which increases our health. It will just, like, have some rapid healing. Excuse me, what do you want? <laughs> uh, these guys are absolutely great. So you have, like, a little heal buff once you eat the bodies, which is also pretty amazing. You can pick up creatures like the Doadic or the Ankleo and carry them around. So if you don't have cryopods, uh, you can just swoop down on your own. Pick up a Doadic. Okay, or miss completely. Pick up a Doadic or an Anki and you can carry it over to where the metal is. Drop it off and because it's got high weight, you can carry them when they're full as well. Obviously, you might be a little bit slower, but you can still carry them when they're full, which is great. Really good utility dino. 
to carry creatures around the map, if, especially before cryopods. Obviously, now you have cryopods. You know, you could just chuck a cryopod out. But it's nice to have this ability to carry creatures around still. Like I said, because this guy's pretty tanky and it's got a lot of damage, you can probably take on uh, quite a few alphas with these guys, especially if you leveled up the melee and stuff. They're just really good dinos. You'll be using this dino on the daily, and that's what the whole point of them. This is like your day-to-day go-around dino. For example, let's pick up this guy right now. Bloop. You can hit him in the sky. So if you can pick up a creature, you can just hit them like this. And if you keep hitting, once they die, sometimes you collect the body, sometimes you don't. It's pretty great. They're also a flying smithy. So if you open up the inventory right now and go to crafting, you pretty much got all the same crafting as a smithy within the RG, which is amazing, especially if you need to repair stuff. So you can put some iron and stuff in here, some metal, chuck it in the inventory, and then when you need to repair your armor, you can repair it on the go as long as you have the resources. These guys are a must if you're playing Ark Survival of So this video has been how to tame the RG and the abilities of the RG. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like button. Subscribe to become a human being. And I'll see you in the next episode of Fantastic Day. And peace.